Come on, Manny! Dad, I thought we were going to Giant Bar just to get milk. Yeah, well, we got company coming. You never know when somebody's gonna want a pitted olive. <laughs> so why we buy 50 pair of tube socks? See, well, you see only socks. I see a puppet show. <laughs> Very funny, Dad. Yeah. But where's the milk? Oh, you know, I, I forgot the milk. <laughs> I gotta go back to Giant Pie. Oh, uh, no, Dad, you can't go back there. Admit it, you've got a problem. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I just, I just can't stop buying in bulk. I got a giant buy monkey on my back. I'm hooked. Oh, it's okay, Dad. Relax. Have a cookie. Is he here? Is Michael here? No, Michael and Paulie are not here yet. Uh, but, uh, notice anything? Oh, yeah, uh, huh? that's beautiful. Shrimp. <laughs> well, you may not notice the trophy, but I can guarantee you Michael will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. We were really proud of you when you won that race 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I know it's not important that I won the 440 conference finals in high school, but what is important is that Michael lost to me. <laughs> Here's before known as the winner. <laughs> you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing Michael again. He was your one friend growing up who didn't treat me like your little brother. He liked me. Of course he liked you. He liked you carrying the stuff. <laughs> hey, guys, what's with the helmets? Oh, see, Whites and I, we want to be ready for Polly. She gave the hardest nuggies in the fourth grade. Yeah, now she's three years stronger. Hey, but we're three years smarter, huh? Headbutt. <laughs> this must be a proud moment for you, Ben. Yeah. Who? Battle stations, man! Ben! Mike! How you doing, hey, old man? man. <laughs> yeah, someone's lost some muscle tone the last couple years. Yeah. Guess it ran off with your hairline. <laughs> Holly, look at you. Mm, you've grown so much. Thank you, Uncle Ben. Huh? Hi, Mr. Stevenson. Hi, how are you, Paulie? Good to see you. Hi, Mr. Stevenson. Michael. <laughs> uh, well, at least one of you is keeping in shape, huh? Yeah, it's uh, all those crunches I'm doing. Nestle's Crunch. <laughs> Captain Crunch. <laughs> hey, Carl. Hey. How is my favorite attorney? Right. Uh, are right. they smart enough to make you partner yet? Uh, you, you cut it out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get your bags. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, man. Polly looks different. Yeah. What's with the dress? <laughs> Maddie, Whites, I got some New York niggies for you. Well, uh, we got a little time before uh, dinner. Uh, can I interest you in a uh, shrimp? <laughs> Wow. How did this get here? I reached for a tie. I must have pulled out this gold medal that I won in college. <laughs> you won something once, too, didn't you, Ben? Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let the older boys play by themselves. That is very funny. <laughs> ben, you never told us Michael was so funny. Yeah, well, he, uh, he was voted most likely to tell the same joke 30 years later. <laughs> you know, I was voted most likely to succeed. Children can be so cruel. <laughs> so, Michael. How long are you in town for? Ah, oh, just through the weekend. I have a little meeting over at Bauer McAllister. <laughs>
Really? Oh, they're trying to steal him away from his agency in New York. Wow, really? Bauer McAllister. I mean, that's one of the top ad agencies in the country. Well, come on. This happens to be the man who created the Hey Hey Guy. <laughs> the Hey Hey Guy. That's I love that campaign. Uh, so did I, Alex. You remember for a couple of weeks we were going out with Hey 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 Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how much you have changed, Paulie. Paulie, I can remember like it was yesterday when Maddie's grandma would have you both in a bubble bath. That's a beautiful story, Grandpa. And she'd take you out, put you in those Smurf pajamas. Lord help us if they were in the laundry. Because you just cry. I think we get it, Grandpa. Thank you. No, no, no. Don't you even try it now. You're in my town. Hey, you're putting us up. It's the least I could do. Michael, I can expense this. I'll just say you're somebody important. <laughs> ben, I insist, huh? I spend more than this on a good bottle of wine. I spend more than this on a bad bottle of wine. <laughs> if you can come up with an argument worse than that, you can pay. <laughs> you win, Ben. <laughs> Congratulations, son. Maybe later we can arm wrestle for my car payments. Can you believe this? A few years ago, this mug would have been cold, frosted, with a two-inch head. Yeah. yeah, now it's hot, herbal, and good for your colon. Mm. So, what time are we running in the morning? Uh, how about seven? Seven? Half the day's gone by 7. Did I say 7? 6.30. 5.45. 5.45 it is. <laughs> See you then. All right. I win again. <laughs> Thanks for letting me have your room tonight, Molly. Uh, no problem. Good night. Night. Oh, and feel free to use anything in there you want. My CD player, my PlayStation, my pillow. Please use my pillow. <laughs> well, sounds like you're rather taken with Paulie. Is it that obvious? Obvious? Man, you have brushed your teeth so many times since she got here, your gums are bleeding. But on the upside, we all appreciate the minty freshness. Hey, Dad, you think I should say something to her? Pretty complicated. <laughs> I mean, you know, you've been friends for a long time. Sometimes trying to become more than friends, it isn't an easy transition to make. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking. Yeah. But look, if you want to go for it, you got to ask yourself, what's the worst thing that can happen? Well, she doesn't feel the same way, and I look like an idiot. Uh-huh. And again, what's the best thing that can happen? <laughs> Just take that smile down a notch, my friend. <laughs> oh, hey, when's the last time you clipped those toenails? <laughs> Hey, Dad, I couldn't find the clippers. Clippers? Those babies, you're gonna need a weed whacker. Morning. Hey, morning. Ooh, Maddie, this is so fancy. Oh, what, this? Oh, we darn like this every day. <laughs> so then, how about a little juice? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I really like the mornings, huh? It's a good time to talk, huh? You know, about how nice it is to see you again, about you maybe moving back here. Did you have a nice run, Dad? Uh-huh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, today's race, him. Looking good, Dad. Hey. Flowers, nice touch. I better get dressed. You know what your problem is? What? You didn't stretch out before you ran. No. My problem is I ran. <laughs> oh, come on, Mike. I mean, look at you. You can't breathe. I can hardly walk. We're getting too old for this, man. Ah, oh, come on. You got a little. Hamstring pull. Well, I've had worse injuries. 
Oh, you've had worse injuries. Fine, fine. You win. Look, Mike, why don't you give it a rest? Give me a rest. Everything doesn't have to be a contest. So you saying you give up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just like good old days, huh, Ben? Yeah. Some things never change. Hey, why is Hi, where's Polly? She's getting dressed. Good. I gotta talk to you. I got a big problem. You gotta help me, Maddie. What is it, what? I really like Polly. Oh, yeah, she's cool. No, I mean, I like, like her. What? What are you saying? I can't stop thinking about her. Will you talk to her for me? See if she likes me? Why can't you talk to her? I can't. I'm a nervous wreck. Touch me, I'm a sweaty mess. I think I'll pass. Come on, Maddie. You're good at this kind of stuff. You're a bitter basketball player, and the girls like you. And look at me. Play the violin, and I wear orthopedic shoes. <laughs> You're my only hope. Oh, right. Why'd you have to remind me about your shoes? <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. Wow, I can't believe that you and Michael have been friends for 30 years. Uh, and I would love to have a relationship with that kind of history. Or at least know somebody with a boat. <laughs> yeah, Michael and I are tight, but lately I'm feeling frustrated. Boy, me too. You know, you'd think out of all the people out there with boats, I'd know one of them. <laughs> Why are you so frustrated? I thought Michael was one of your closest friends. Yeah, we're close. So how does he feel about leaving New York? Well, we haven't talked about that. It's a tough decision, moving his whole family. Well, we haven't talked about that either yet. It's got to be tough on his wife. Suzanne. His wife's name's Suzanne. See? That's the kind of closeness I want to have. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! <laughs> Thank you for copying these things for me, Angel. That's Angela. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> I hate to see you in so much pain. Oh, thanks, Angela. My leg's okay. Well, just remember, if you need anything, Angel's here. <laughs> well, there's some people down at Bauer McAllister waiting to be impressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, at six. I made racquetball reservations. Uh, Mike, Mike, uh, you know, I was thinking, why don't we just hang out tonight? You know, talk. We can talk while we're playing. I'll give you something to do while I'm whipping your butt. <laughs> Peace. Hey, hey, baby! Dad, you're not gonna believe this. What? Weitzman is nuts about Polly, and he wants me to hook the two of them up. Weitzman? <laughs> well, did you tell him how you feel about it? I couldn't, Dad. He had dibs. Oof. Dibs. <laughs> dibs? Yeah, the minute Weissman said he liked Paulette before I did, it was all over. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're talking about a person here, not who gets the front seat in the car. <laughs> Granted, but there are certain rules we must follow if we are to live in a civilized society. However, we may be able to void the dibs claim on a technicality. Have you ever been tested for dibslexia? <laughs> now, what do I do? Well, the uh, first thing you should do is move away from him. <laughs> And the next thing is, you have to ask yourself, what's more important, your feelings for Paulette or your friendship with Weitzman? Well, they're both important. Yeah, but did you tell Weitzman you'd talk to her? Yeah. Sounds like you've made a commitment. I guess. It just doesn't seem fair, Dad. I knew her first, and it was me who introduced her to Weitzman. Hmm. What a man will tell himself when he's on the short end of the dipstick. Mm. <laughs> now, we should both move away from him. <laughs> Pizza smells good. Yeah. When is Weissman coming? Oh, uh, he had a um an emergency violin lesson. <laughs> he must have a strict teacher. Hey, you know, not many kids our age can play the violin. Not many kids our age want to play the violin. <laughs> Weissman's a great guy, isn't he? The best. Well, one of the best. Hey, you think you'd ever like him? You mean as a boyfriend? Yeah, something like that. Maddie, that would be so weird. I mean, he's like my brother. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that would be like me liking you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would be really weird, huh? <laughs> Napkin? <laughs> So I noticed a slight limp when you came in, Simon. No, oh, it's nothing, Danny. Listen, have you ever noticed that everything with Michael is a contest? No. <laughs> you know, my life has changed since Sarah died. I need more from my relationships. And with Michael... Ben, you remember my uh, old fishing buddy, Leroy Armstrong? Yeah. Well, one year, we spent six hours on this boat before we could reel in. A 25-pound lake, lake trout. trout. Yeah. I told you that story before? No. <laughs> That's my point. Eventually, we drifted apart. Yeah. Let's face it. You can only spend so much time talking about a 25-pound lake trout before you want to club a man with an oar. <laughs> hey, I'm glad I found you guys. What's up? I just finished talking to a guy I know whose girlfriend works in personnel at Bob McAllister. Uh-huh. Michael didn't get the job. What? I thought it was a sure thing. Well, they said his interview didn't go well. So they're gonna go with some hot shot from L.A. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Michael ever needed a friend to talk to, this is it. Yeah, you're right. You want me to talk to him, Danny? Uh, <laughs> Carl, I hate to drop this on you, but uh, have you ever heard of a little something called Dibs? <laughs> hey, Daddy, say something. They call him Mr. Dibs. <laughs> One, she only likes me as a friend. Chocolate, chocolate chip milkshake made with love. <laughs> Not from her. <laughs> I'm really sorry, man. Thanks, Dad. Hey, I guess it could have been worse, huh? If they'd have moved back here, I would have had to face the rejection every day. Yeah. And I don't think we have enough ice cream for that. Well, as a matter of fact... <laughs> So you heard Michael didn't get the job, huh? Yeah, man, Polly told me. And can you believe Uncle Mike's been out of work for six months? Six months? Hey, anybody home? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mike. Hey. Hey, you ready to go? I thought we were gonna play some racquetball. Uh, I have a note from my hamstring. We forfeit. Huh? <laughs> oh, fine. I'll just go down there by myself. Hey, what's Carl's number? He must know somebody. Uh, Mike, Mike, come on, man. Let's let's just sit down a little bit. Tell me about your interview. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen me in there, Ben. Huh? Oh yeah, I dazzled them, blew them away. They offered me a job on the spot. Is that so? Oh yeah. Yeah, but they couldn't meet my financial demands. I mean, if you want the hey hey guy, you got to come up with the hey hey dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mike. Uh, you know, we've been friends for a long time, man, and I, I just want you to know that whatever happened today, it's okay. Yeah, well, the truth is, I, I didn't really want to move to Chicago. <laughs> I got a good gig back in New York. I'm happy for you. Hey, I'm gonna miss my court time. <laughs> Later, my friend. All right, Mike. You know, Dad, I don't get it. You knew he was lying. Why didn't you call him on it? I don't know. I guess telling him the truth wasn't going to make him feel any better. Yeah, but aren't you supposed to be honest with friends? Yeah. Yeah, but... Sometimes for the sake of the friendship, you got to just bend the rules a little bit, you know? I get it. Is she here? <laughs> She's having dinner with her cousin. Oh, hello, Mr. Stevenson. Right. Maddie, your dad, A, is here, A? I'll be in the kitchen, A. Hey, come on in, man. So what'd she say? It's bad, isn't it? Lights me. Polly really likes you, man. Oh. My. God. Yeah, but she's staying in New York. And you know, with the distance and everything, you know, she thinks it'd be pretty hard to keep up a relationship. 
relationship? Man, I can't wait to tell her that even though the time isn't right now, perhaps in the future, we will one day be together. <laughs> I got that from Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. <laughs> You know, Whites, I think it'd be best if we acted like we never had this conversation. You know, girls that take that stuff pretty hard. You're probably right. Thanks, Manny. No problem, man. See you later, Whites. See ya. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm a good friend. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes. Now, Dad, Whitesman's okay. Yeah. And Uncle Mike's okay. Mm. Who makes us feel okay? It's Mr. Soft! <laughs> and that. <laughs> I anticipated that! Come on, you're gonna miss your plane! Coming! Hey, Dad, I'm gonna walk Paulette to the car. Thank you for everything, Uncle Ben. Oh, it was nothing, sweetheart. You take care now, huh? Maddie, I forgot to give you something. <laughs> Thanks for putting us up, Ben. Oh, you kidding, man? Uh, give Suzanne my love. Oh, yeah. Uh, listen, I almost forgot. I have a friend in New York whose company is looking for someone to head up their advertising department. And when I told him I was tight with the hey, hey guy, he practically begged me for your number. You know, he just wants to pick your brain. I hate asking you to do this, but, uh... Would you mind giving them a call? Thanks, man. So, uh... A couple of weeks, I'll give you a call. We'll talk. Sure. Mornings are good. Around seven? Seven? Half the day's over by then. <laughs> You are so competitive. That's right. <laughs> Take care of this guy, Mr. Stevenson. I'll do what I can. Hey, Michael, Michael, thank goodness you're still here. Let me carry these to the car for you. Uh, no. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> you know, Carl, you should visit me in New York sometime. Really? <laughs> I'm free next weekend. <laughs> So, Ben, looks like you and Michael made a little bit of headway. Yeah, a little. But you know, Daddy, after 30 years, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> yeah. He and Carl looked pretty happy, didn't they? <laughs> enough whites well, tell me when I've had enough she's out of my life well hit me 